One important thing about stories is that stories work if people believe in them. I'm Yuval Noah Harari, and I'm the author of Unstoppable Us, How Humans Took Over the World. I came to meet uh, students from the seventh grade. I wanted to know what the young people today think about what makes us humans so special, and how is it that we control the world and not the lions or the elephants or the whales. We have certain items that would usually be worthless that we place value on that other animals don't really have. So I think that's one of the, very, the main things that motivates me. I think the two most interesting questions were um, what can humans do that other animals can't? And very quickly we came to the topic of money of why is it that only humans believe in money and how come humans created this strange thing that they prefer to almost everything else. I mean, is there anybody here in the room that doesn't believe in money? There was certain moments when just, you know, almost every single kid in class was kind of raising, I want to say something about money or why, or why we are better than lions. Not all of the people agree on the same, I don't know, who they vote for in the, in the elections. But money is the one thing that everybody believes. So how does it happen? Yeah. Uh, I feel like every, like animals and humans, they all have kind of like different things they, they value like very high and that it unifies them or something like a common motive. Like humans, money motivates us. Or like going back to bees, like they're, they're trying to like build a hive and I think, I think people believe in money because they want to believe in it. As, uh, you know, as a 10-year-old or as a 12-year-old, you first and foremost try to understand who am I? What am I doing in the world? What are the rules that kind of uh, uh, arrange the world or control the world? Also a lot of unfair things in the world. And uh, very often people tell you, yes, it's unfair, but it has to be like this. It was always like this. And if you understand, no, it doesn't have to be like that. It's just a story that somebody invented. Then that's the first step. One of the best things about talking with kids is that they challenge you to think harder, to think where do these things really come from?